We want to talk today about more failure in the garden. Okay, so we've been having a hard time this year. Whether it's the climate or what it is, we don't know. Um, but ultimately, we know that the Lord decides how well we do in the garden. And this year, we're having trouble. Uh, we're in the beans right now. Um, we're having trials and tribulations in the beans. Um, so let me show you what's going on. All down the bean row. I'll dig around. They haven't come up when they should have. Now these beans are perfectly intact. This could be the fault of the seed company. This could be the fault of how I stored it. Um, these were uh, from 2019, and this of course is 23. So um, the problem with beans at, for consumption and for planting is if they completely dehydrate, they can't rehydrate. So you wanna keep oils intact in beans. Um, which means a properly sealed container. So, for whatever reason, there's that that we found. And then, working our way down here, we found a munched on bean. And we found a potato bug. Because most of what we're finding is not rotten beans, or even beans that haven't done anything. But we're finding nothing. I mean nothing. Probably one, once every... I don't know, 50 um, plantings, we're finding one that sprouted. So we're digging where there should be a row and there's absolutely nothing. So I think the potato bugs have hit us. There's not a whole lot for that. They tell you you can feed the potato bugs like dog food or something and they'll stay out of it. But over here, I'm not going to increase my potato bug population by feeding them. It's like feeding problem bears. You're just going to teach them to come there and, and proliferate. So don't feed either one, in my view. So here, these are the ones that I... These are actually a different brand. Uh, and I planted these far later than those. And you see, they're coming up. Um, so apparently, whatever happened to those... Uh, didn't happen to these. So we have some beans coming up, but that's a very narrow part compared to all this that we now have to replant. So in homesteading, you try not to get discouraged when things like this happen, because they happen. See, there's our Swiss chard, and that was all replanted. And uh, these things just occur, and we try to learn from them, um, whatever we can. Sometimes there's nothing really to learn in the natural. So you turn to the spiritual. What is the Lord trying to show me? So this is a tribulation in our little bean patch here. And I was reading in Romans 5, uh, verse 3 through 4, knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. So there's a reason for, for trial and tribulation in our life. And it's trying to teach us something. It's trying to teach us patience, experience, and ultimately hope. And the thing being is that when things are going well for you in your life, and all your beans have come up, and your crops are doing beautifully, then you're not learning. But it's trial and tribulation that teaches us. It teaches us character, and it also teaches us in the natural, um, what can we do better next time? And this particular natural, we're just going to try again, and that's all we can do. But that's trials and tribulations in the garden and on the homestead. <laughs> 